Do you ever feel like your iPhone is hiding secrets that could transform the way you use it? With Apple rolling out updates every year, keeping up can feel overwhelming, but in this video I'll show you five clever hacks that will help you stay organised, save time and finally make your iPhone work smarter for you. Now we all know the frustration of remembering passwords. These days we have tens, maybe even hundreds of different login details for so many websites and apps. How on earth can we remember them all? Well, in this first hack, we don't need to ever feel overwhelmed trying to remember every password again. You see, we now have an app called Passwords, and by using this, we can save all our passwords easily. First, let's access the Passwords app. If you don't see it on your home screen, swipe down and type Passwords. You can then press and hold and select Add to Home Screen for faster access in future. First, when we open the app, we see this screen, which shows a set of icons that represent various password groups. We have all our passwords here, our pass keys, codes, save Wi-Fi logins, security warnings and deleted items. So to get started the important thing here is to make sure that you have your phone set up to save your passwords automatically. So to do this, head into the settings app. Again you can swipe down on the home screen and search for the settings app easily. Then type passwords into the top search bar. You can also scroll down to apps and then scroll to passwords. Once we're in the password settings there's a few things we want to make sure are all set up correctly. First, here we have to save the password setting and we want to set this to ask when signing in. This will allow a prompt for you to allow the passwords app to save new passwords. Next we have detect compromised password. Keep this on as it will help us make sure our passwords stay secure. And then we can have the passwords app suggest strong passwords. And by using this it allows our passwords to be created for us. By using these suggested passwords, we no longer need to be using easily guessed passwords that are reused. Instead, every password we have is going to be unique. And by using the Passwords app, we don't even need to remember each one, though this helps all our accounts stay nice and secure. We then want to check the autofill settings here at the bottom. And this takes us to another page where we can make sure that our passwords can be automatically filled in when we need them. We can choose here whether we autofill passwords that we might have saved in other apps such as Chrome or the Microsoft Authentication app. This next setting controls whether authentication codes are automatically cleared after use so we can keep that as on. And then finally we also leave this setup verification code set as in the passwords app. Now we have this set up, in most cases whenever we create a new set of login details, maybe we're creating a new email account or another app or a website account, Passwords will give us suggested passwords and allow us to save our login details straight into the app. Now we can also manually add login details here in the Passwords app and to do this head back into the Passwords app and then press the plus icon. Here we can enter the website address or a label for the login we want to save and then enter our username and password. And then when we find a password we can simply search for it using the search bar in the app. Once our passwords are saved, when you want to use a safe password, you can also press this key icon, which is available when you select to enter a username or a password. You can choose passwords to locate the login details from the Passwords app, and a screen will appear showing you suggested logins to use, or you can search for one that you've already saved, and this then pre-fills the details and you can log in. Now once you've mastered keeping your passwords secure and stress-free, it's time to tackle the next major time waster, and that's cluttered home screens. Let me show you how to organise your apps for maximum efficiency. You see, most people end up with a multitude of irrelevant apps on their home screens. Icons from apps you once downloaded and probably no longer use. You might even still have some of the default apps like stocks that you literally never touch. And then when we want to actually find a specific app to use, we have to scroll through multiple screens just trying to find it. So here's what you can do to get more organised. Our aim here is to bring all the regular apps we use together and simply get rid of everything else. First, spend 10 minutes going through each of your home screen pages. Consider each app. If you don't ever use it, then press and hold. Then on the pop-up menu, simply select Remove App. You'll then get the option to remove from the home screen or delete the app. If you're never likely to use the app again at all, then go ahead and delete it. However, if you think you might sometimes use the app, but perhaps it's only very occasional use, then you might want to retain the app. But to help you declutter your home screens, you can choose to remove only from the home screen. Now once you've done this across all your home screen pages, you should be left with only those apps that you actually use. But there's one more thing we can do to organise these. Think about how you use the apps, maybe some are related to work, others social media. You might have some games or other productivity apps such as notes, calendar and reminders. What you can do here is rearrange the apps and there's different ways you might want to do this. You could group certain types of apps into folders. 
To do this, just drag one app over another and it creates a folder. Select in the folder and here at the top, you can give it a meaningful name. Tap outside of the folder and then done. Another method you could use is to group your apps by their use and separate them onto different home screen pages. Once you've done rearranging, you should have a nicely arranged set of pages and apps. But one more thing you might want to do is arrange the order of those pages. So to do this, press and hold the screen and then press edit here in the top left and choose edit pages. The view will now expand to show all your pages. Here you can check the pages that you want to show or hide and drag the pages around in the order that you want them. So as an example, you might have your main messaging apps all on one page and then your productivity apps on the next one, followed by social media and then maybe games. Now spending 10 minutes to declutter and prioritize your apps will save you hundreds of minutes in the future. And with all your apps perfectly organized, finding what you need is a breeze. But what happens when you need to quickly capture a thought or idea without typing? And this is where the next hack comes in. Now you might find it fiddly to type out reminders on your phone, or maybe you often write things on scraps of paper only to lose them later and realize the scribble note went through the washing machine. Well, there's an easier way to quickly record things and that's by using your voice. If we search for the Voice Memo app and then add this to our home screen, we can use this to quickly speak and record short memos to ourselves for later. To quickly record a memo, press and hold the app icon and choose New Recording, and it starts recording instantly. Another way you can start a voice memo is simply by asking Siri. So just ask Siri to begin a voice memo, and it will automatically start the app and start recording. Now voice memos may be perfect for on-the-go notes, but what about managing important documents and keeping them easily accessible? And this is where the Notes app becomes your ultimate organization tool. Now the Notes app does have a ton of features that can really transform how you store information, making it one of the most useful apps you'll probably ever need. I've even made a video covering a huge number of features of Apple Notes, so be sure to check that out and subscribe if you want to get notified when I next talk about more of these features. But one specific standout feature of Apple Notes is the ability to save documents right into Notes. I use this now to keep copies and records of important documents, making them easier than ever to retrieve at any time. And here's how you do it. In a new note, select the paperclip icon and then choose Scan Documents. The camera then opens so you can put your document into the frame. The view of the document is indicated on the screen and when it's framed up, it'll automatically capture the page. You can then either press save, or if you want to add more pages, keep going one by one, putting each one into the view until you're complete. As soon as you save, your document will be shown right in the note. If you have multiple pages, then this icon on the right will show small previews, so you can easily move between the pages. Now usually it will give your document a name based on what it sees in the document, but to rename it, select the down arrow next to the title, and from the menu here, you can also rename. Also on this menu, you can open the document in Quick Look, share via the share sheet, save it to your files and print. You can also choose a view size by selecting view as and choose the size. When you combine adding documents to your notes with an organized structure to those notes, you can really begin to use the Notes app to stay organized, making documents easy and quick to find and retrieve. With all your important information securely stored, what about those moments when it's too dark to find what you need? Now most of us know we can use our phones as a flashlight, but let's take a look at some clever trips to help make it even easier. Firstly, you can set various different methods to easily open the flashlight. If your iPhone has an action button, you can set this to be its default action. To change your action button setting, go into settings, action button, and then swipe through the options to select the flashlight or torch. Another method is to set it on your lock screen. And to do this, from the lock screen, press and hold, and then customize and press the lock screen icon on the left. Then you can add the flashlight by choosing one of the widget locations, such as bottom left here, and choose the flashlight or torch control. Then choose done, and you're back to the home screen where you can turn it on or off with a long press. You can also add this same control into the control center. To open control center, swipe down from the top right, press and hold to enter edit mode. Then if you don't have it already, choose add a control, and again, choose the flashlight or torch option. Now, if you also have a fairly recent iPhone, when you do open the flashlight, you've got a little more control over it. You can slide your finger up or down to change the brightness and left or right to alter the beam focus from more narrow to wide. 
Now knowing all the features of our phone can be really useful, but there's even bigger changes to iPhone and Apple devices, and that's with Apple Intelligence. They're gonna be real game changers and absolutely essential to know. So in this next video, I'll show you just what they are so you can truly maximize your productivity.